This year's search uh, is building on the momentum we've uh, developed over the last five years since 2008. We will enjoy the support of uh, a larger number of partners, a large number of service platforms for deploying uh, sensor technologies, and uh, the, the greatest uh, concentration of expertise uh, that we've enjoyed to date. Uh, last year, we uh, fell just shy of 500 square kilometers uh, in that one year alone. Uh, and uh, we hope that we may, might be able to cover as much as 1,400 square kilometers this year. Uh, that said, uh, we're always at the mercy of the elements, uh, uh, the weather and, uh, and ice. Uh, so hopefully if, if those conditions cooperate, uh, we'll be able to get a lot of work done this year and hopefully uh, uh, reach our objective. It can be quite remarkable what can survive on an underwater archaeological site, including, uh, including a shipwreck. The, the preservation of artifacts underwater is influenced by many factors. The cold temperature uh, certainly helps, uh, darkness helps, and this is something we, we uh, obviously find in, uh, in Arctic conditions. The process of, of looking for shipwrecks, uh, whether it's with uh, multi-beam sonar, or towed side scan sonar, or uh, sonar mounted on autonomous underwater vehicles, it's, it's essentially the same as far as the platform is uh, traveling on straight lines and then it'll uh, switch back and uh, with an offset, uh, it'll, uh, we call it mowing the lawn, where uh, line after line eventually you amass these sizable blocks of survey coverage and then we build all the blocks together uh, and uh, hopefully that adds up to you know, 1,400 square kilometers or uh, whatever we stand to, uh, to accomplish this year. In the event that we're able to locate uh, the wreck of Airbus or Terror, or uh, hopefully both, uh, Canadians, I think, would be uh, uh, acquainted with uh, an absolute national treasure. Uh, the story of Franklin, uh, uh, to, to my mind, is one of the most enthralling stories in Canadian history. So much of the modern history of uh, the Canadian Arctic uh, in some way touches on uh, the Franklin story, and uh, I think it's really important for that reason.